He is a good daddy. But he's always in some shit. And that is not going to be at my child's expense. You know how, how scary that is? To not know where your child is? But you see the baby daddy on, on the shade room locked up? No! People back you up, but you doing dumb shit. Women in your house naked and stuff. And you're doing all of this and all this other crazy shit. Putting the kid in the hot tub and you and grown folks can't do that shit, Chris. That's a motherfucking color. Thank you. He just proved the point right after that. Appreciate you. I, I, hell, I ain't even know all that. I, I, it's no way I want to have fear every time I get my child away. Okay. Can you please feed him? And please, I know, as a matter of fact, I know you're going to feed him. I know he's going to be loved. But can he not be in hot tubs with women? Can other women not kiss my child and shit? Uh, can he not go missing while your ass is getting locked up, please? Yeah, now, these days, if you really want somebody, you better let them know. Because it's so quick to find somebody else and let your ass go, okay? That you want to be with her, then show her. You know what I'm saying? Don't sit here and play with her and then you go and play somewhere else, too. That, that ain't right. So let me just clear that up. I'm not trying to talk down on her, but I'm just saying, don't expect something when it ain't nothing there. Okay, anyway, so now she goes to her Instagram story and she puts a video of her throwing his stuff out and saying, you going to another girl's house. He's at another bitch house at 1 a.m. What business is y'all doing? Smoking hookah, weak ass bitch, made, an, made ass nigga. I was doing other stuff that's disrespectful. Woo, 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 woo. She doesn't even stop there. She goes and she posts, um, both y'all and this YouTube shit and that's on my mama. And I'm just like, okay, so it's just let it go. Just let it go. He do be, he made a fool out of you. Let it go. Like, nah, don't you made yourself a real So then she took the and put another one. And she said, You f me wrong. They gave me back and we're working on this shit, so I have every right to be mad. And then she also said, He's toxic, manipulating, and all this other stuff. So if you know that he was manipulating and toxic and all this other stuff, why are you trying to work something out? Y'all kill me. So then she posts some more and more, talking about he's inspired by Miami Kid. You a grown ass man. I'm just like, Okay, sus, you're mad. Right. Yeah, man. Y'all might as well have been together the way you act. Because, like, I don't understand why my sister is so mad and you don't go together. Is it but not only that, you denied his ass when he was supposedly begging to go back with you. So you played yourself. <laughs> I'm not. Between going together and it working. <laughs> you better know who you're fucking with. But then, I, I know y'all put that boundaries in there. But like I said, if y'all couldn't even handle boundaries together, what makes you think this person can handle boundaries if y'all aren't together? So then she goes and she posts this. They never went to the two pops. Y'all want to know where they went? They went straight to hit her house. And he was at her house till 3 in the morning. Doing what can y'all possibly be doing till 3 in the morning? Y'all ain't getting no videos done. So he seen me post my little clickbait ass thumbnail of the, of the you know, whatever. Nigga wasn't even choking me. He had his hand like this. I'm not even pressed up against him. That shit for clickbait for y'all to click on the video. It's entertainment as he knows. So he takes it upon himself to post a video of this bitch putting on his chain That's in, me. in her house smoking hookah and Pretty shit. as hell. And then this nigga tried to justify the situation. about when she posted this on, on her Instagram. Because I posted a boomerang. Business is business, so why can't I handle mine? See, my thing is, I think she felt some type of way about how Shada was looking. She fine. I mean, and Kiana fine. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know. Two fine women. And, and, and I just feel like you felt some type of way about the sex appeal that she put in that video. You know what I'm saying? And I guess he felt some type of way about this dude, whoever this dude is, choking you or whatever the fuck. Listen, this ain't the game for y'all to play. Y'all can't handle this game. Like, real people play this game. I played this game before. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't play this game, this game ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? You better stop. Come on, Don't hurt yourself. So y'all let me know. Does that equal up? Being in this 3 a.m.? And getting shit done, smoking hookah and shit. And as we already know, once YouTubers break up, they go through stuff, they always say it's in God's hands. God's gonna deal with it. They always bring God to the situation. So that's what she did here. And she just let y'all know that he was very much toxic and how she wants to work on just focusing on herself. And I'm just like, God is probably sitting there like, look, don't put me in this. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get you away like, from him. I tried. Like two years ago. Work, but I already showed you the signs. So don't put me 
win. And said, I'm going to handle it. I tried to handle it, and you took the wheel. Anyway, so people are saying they want her to go back with Kia, and that's what she's supposed to be with. But uh -uh. Like, okay, well, didn't she twerk on a yes. party? Yes, yes, I was just about to say that. Girl, you played Keon. <laughs> and I, I don't mean like she like cheated on him, but they had broken up or something, or they was about to or some shit. And she and them biker week, bike week, whatever, twerking on some dude. And that pissed Keon off. So that's why, really, that's why they not together no more. Because they tried to work it out again and it just didn't work. And I love Keon. I saw it and got mad and then had sex with another girl. Don't, don't get me wrong. I know they were broken up for a while when he went and did that. But when they were trying to fix it together, didn't he keep fucking on that girl again? I think something like that. So why she supposed to be with Kia? You know what? At this point, she's just having a bad luck. Okay. <laughs> just sit down and relax and make your own videos. All right. So she uh, playing the part in that toxicity, though. Oh, when primetime finally comes out and he says, um, she lying on my name, trying to make me look bad. Footage don't lie. I can't wait. Okay, look, just at this point, you wrong. If you know y'all had an agreement that y'all couldn't do certain things, then just man up and know that you wrong. You went to the girl house, you purposely helped put your necklace on like y'all all love you do. Just agree to what you did was wrong. Don't try to say, please don't lie. I mean, it wasn't sex. That was supposed to be the agreement to not have sex. She put a necklace on him. I don't think that was sex. I'm just saying. But whatever. Nigga. You made yourself look bad. We didn't tell you to post that up. But okay. we didn't tell you to post that. That's the Then he go to a DJ Khaled and post another one. And he said, uh, Shawty can't go a day without talking about me. Now, girl, when you see this, this lets you know that he don't care about you. Okay. And if you get back with him, you stupid. This is your third strike right here. The first one is the second one. Okay. And then you see how he talk about, girl, stupid. Don't make me look stupid us. on the internet. It's on you. Don't come crying to us again if it up. Don't come crying to us talking about some, oh my God, he's toxic, I hear this, I should have known better, and all that dog, we had the boundaries and agreements, girl, f*** all that bullshit. Put <laughs> <laughs> in the damn pudding. He gonna do what he want to do. Then she goes, she say, he's scary, I'm done giving this man and his little girlfriend clout. Well, sis, stop responding. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to feel like they just both toxic and they both like each other. They she was just toxic. jealous at this point. She went was. somewhere else. And she jealous. Yes. She's gonna take him back. Yeah. She's gonna take him back. I can tell though. She you can tell. All all this. It's just a hard hold on. She gonna take him back. You can just take the sense and you can feel it. She's just angry right now. She mad, but she cares. This is a care man. This is a I love you man. This supposed to be you mind man. She's mad. Yeah. She's gonna take a bad child. We're gonna keep an uh, eye on it. I don't know if the other lady done said something because she at this point she really don't care because she already know look, we ain't together, we fucking whatever case they be. I know you can go back to her, so I, I got mine. You know, she she don't care. So honey, it is what it is. Well, it ain't about me. We'll be back together in three weeks. Next guy. <laughs> Next week, okay, we have Chris versus Clarence. First, I just want to say, welcome back, husband. I miss you on the show. I'm so <laughs> You've tired You've been real silent lately, but it's okay. I'm so tired. So, um, Chris was upset because, as we know, his child has been taken away, and oh. this is what he had to say. Bro, I miss my son so f bro. I never knew people could be so evil and try to get full custody. Bro, like, bro, that's crazy. Like, people don't appreciate when you got a good, you know, a good a father in their child's life that take care of them, that, you know, that want to see them. There's so many deadbeats out here in this world, you know, and I feel like when you got a, a good father, you know, even though I don't need no accolades on shit I'm supposed to be doing, you know, but at the same time, it's like, it's so normal for people to be deadbeats nowadays, and they make it so normal, you know? So I feel like when you... How many times... You got to go to jail and your son somewhere and the mama don't know where the fuck her son is at. How, like, that wasn't one time. That wasn't even two times. This has happened like three or four times. So, fuck, you know, who the mama is and who the daddy is. This is just basic common damn sense. If you go to jail... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Always going to jail for beating women. Fuck. Chris. You know, and, and, and I feel like people always, you know, 
take up for him. It's even me. I be like, bro, goddamn, he is a good daddy though. You know what I'm saying? He is. I like his music. Like for real, I do. <laughs> he is a good daddy, but he's always in some shit, and that is not gonna be at my child's expense. You know how how scary that is to not know where your child is, but you see the baby daddy on on the shade room locked up. No, hell, girl. Nope. Hell no. You know, nope. Not doing it. I don't need that. I see my son every chance I get. Now, I'm going to be real. I agree with Chris. And I'm like, oh, wow. Oh, my God. He got arrested and his child was in somebody else's care. And Queen didn't know her child was in his family. No, I'm listening, y'all. Right? You know that. It's 24 years old. They ain't got shit to do with it. Women are slower than women, okay? Now, when y'all look at this man with his child, he is great with his child. He yeah. takes care of that little boy. He's yep. happy with that little boy. Yep. Now, he may not make some of the best decisions, but there's daddies out here who do some dumb shit. That ain't got nothing to do with it. And you know, I love Zoda Death. But in certain situations, just like I know y'all feel about me, I take favoritism with Queen, so y'all say, and he takes favoritism with Chris, so y'all say. In this situation, I've already said, you know, with Chris, he is a great father. That is a fact. That ain't even, like, that's a fact. He is a great damn daddy with that baby. Period. But you will not be on the shame. I see you in handcuffs. What the fuck is my child? As bad as it is with all these killings and, you know what I'm saying, this world is in turmoil. Like, even if, if right now, if I had a 16, 17, 18, 19, 20-year-old son, bro, I really want you at the crib. I want to build my life up to where you can be at the crib. You know what I'm saying? And I'm working on it right fucking now because it's that serious. But for your daddy to be in jail, and I don't know where you are, not once, not twice, not three times. Like, when do you strike out? Fuck no. With their kids too, but y'all cannot sit here and say that that man is a bad father. No, he ain't. Child. He loves he that do. boy. And Queen know that. Yeah. Queen know that, but because they have this tension with each other, women and men and the other baby daddy gon' do shit to keep up confrontation. I'm not saying none of them are wrong and none of them are all the way right, but I feel they all need to come to an agreement to be like, hey, this is what needs to be done around the child. This is how we can raise the child. But to take that child away from a guy who wants to be in the child's life and who loves his child, that is wrong. There's a lot of kids out here who don't have daddy and want their daddy there. Yeah, and they th those aren't the same situations. But I know damn well, because I get where Zoe coming from because he is a good daddy. I, you, you can't take that away from him. Facts. But oh my God. In the event of something happening to Chris, uh, baby CJ. While Chris is. While he's not in his daddy's care. Then what would you say? Do you know how bad of a phone call that would be? Or, 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 or a video? Yeah I just want y'all to know. While Chris was in jail. <sighs> baby CJ was. I don't even want to say the wildest thing you could think of that came to your mind. Who want that phone call? Not when he can be in my care because I know that nothing's going to happen to my son while he's with me. And baby daddy, fuck, I have tried. She has said countless times, I'm not going to take him away. I'm not going to take him away. Every time. Chris, baby CJ's fucking missing. I'm not going to take him away. He loves his baby. I'm not going to take him away. He loves his daddy. I'm not going to take him away. But then it's like, okay, but he going to get taken away from me in a minute. If Child Protective Services decide to get involved, that also is going to look bad on Queen. At some point, she got to grab some control. Because da the daddy ain't got none. Uh-uh. She did but the right thing. This child away from this man she did the right thing. Up. And then these YouTube people who have made these videos and made all this accusations and shit who had the CPS or child protective services go to the house, that was up. Uh, that's wrong when y'all know that this man actually really do care for his child. I know, I just, man, y'all know he care for that damn child. He wouldn't hurt that child a day in his life. Of course not. That ain't my business. Y'all already got sisters about that. She, she's not taking him away from him hurting his child. She's taking him away from anybody else that would try to harm his child while his child ain't in his care. Uh-uh. 
there's a lot of black men okay. out here who are not in their kids' life, but when you got a man who wants to be in a child's life, that's just fucked up. I mean, whatever. So anyway, okay, I got too involved in the situation. I think, you know, Chris is my husband, but... Chris, get your shit together, too. <laughs> Hell. Include that part. People back you up, but you're doing dumb shit. Women in your house, nagging and stuff. And you're doing all of this and all this other crazy shit. Putting the kid in the hot tub when you and grown folks can't do that shit, Chris. Get it to motherfucking gala. Thank you. He just proved the point right after that. Appreciate you. I, I hell, I ain't even know all that. Did you just say he, had, he was in a hot tub with a naked woman? That's what I heard. Y'all don't want my child around that. Do you know molestation is real? Ah, y'all, yeah. Shit just go too far. Anyway, I don't take my child. So then okay. after he posted all of that, uh, Clarence gonna come and put a laugh my ass off of under the video. And I thought that was very childish because <laughs> shut the <laughs> up. Okay. <laughs> Be messy on messy Monday. I just talk about the mess on messy Monday. But Clarence, that was messed up. Um, Queen should have stepped in and said something, but I ain't, I ain't none of my business. But then Chris had came back with a. This is sad. I wouldn't even wish that on him. People are just cruel. Nothing is funny about somebody getting their child taken away from them. This is your fault. Now, first of all, y'all know Clarence Petty is fuck. Like, I, I cannot take up for Clarence pettiness. Clarence, then we had to do whatever. But on a serious note, okay, Clarence is petty as fuck. Put Clarence to the side. On a serious note, he's supposed to be taking care of his child. I gotta know where my child at, man. Over here, I got to know where my child at. At all times, boy. I, I, it's no way I wanna have fear every time I get my child away, okay? Can you please feed him and please, I know, as a matter of fact, I know you're going to feed him. I know he's going to be loved. But can he not be in hot tubs with women? Can other women not kiss my child and shit? Uh, can he not go missing while your ass is getting locked up, please? Or at least have an emergency contact number that I'll know where he is if that were to happen. Who the fuck want to have that conversation every time? No. Come in, be what it is. Whatever. I hope the man can get his child back. That's well, just so at sick. least it, I, I would <laughs> I would have him come see him in the same state. You know what I'm saying? If I just really had to go to the lengths of doing that, come see him in my state. I, like for real. You can get a room. Oh hell, you can get a, a property here. Whatever. Um, you gotta keep him here until you leave. This these are the consequences that you brought on yourself. She not just doing this shit. He did this shit. All right, but it about me. I'm done. Let's it's too personal. Hey, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We have the Nico. He was on live, and then one of the bars had told him that he should be canceled, and the Nico went the. Uh, he don't even know where he he just stepped into the lion's den, and he don't even know. Cause I'm finna flame your ass, boy. Go comb my hair. Come comb it for me then. Bitch talking about some cancel Nico again. Like she got the power to single-handedly cancel me. Sorry, bitch. You're not Nicki Minaj. You're just a fan page. Try again. And even if you was Nicki Minaj, she can't cancel me because the whole industry been canceled her. That's why she felt nothing wrong with going to work with Takashi 6 9 because the whole industry don't fuck with her to begin with. Yeah, y'all want to talk all that shit? Nigga, fuck Nicki Minaj, nigga. Oh, busted ass, buster ass bitch. You supposed to be a real street bitch. You make Well, child, I don't know what to say. I don't know if the bars have caught whip of this, but after they see Mr. Monday, oh, little Nico, your comments about to be foolish. <laughs> for the Nikki, and the bars do not play. So I just wanted to put it up there so y'all can see. It ain't too much for me to say. I'm just waiting to see what the girls are going to do because y'all know I love a little man. So, <laughs> go do your thing. If it ain't about me, Let's get messy. Okay. That's it, okay? We have Kaya versus Trip. Oh! Now look, I'm I so talked about this last too. week because I just was just like, you know what? He tired of it too. It's black history. It's okay. History, it's black lives matter. I don't want to tear us down, but we're going to just, I'm going to give y'all a little light light, okay? Just a little light light of light light. Anyway, well, Trina had said something about the Black Lives Matter. She was basically mad because her friend's store got broken into. That's basically what it was. She said, 
the Black Lives Matter movement because y'all out there messing up the Black Lives, the Black folks' businesses. So screw y'all. Woo woo woo. No. Keep everybody off the street. These animals. Are Girl, I don't know what she, she said. I don't even hear it again. People lives. You don't like it. Don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. I understand that now, bitch. Now. I just want to say I apologize sincerely to everybody I offended by what I said. I spoke passionately about how I felt about people destroying our community here in Miami, Florida, Dade County, the BC, the inner cities. Nah. You would think she anyway, owned damn Miami. So then Kaya, and I already know her nemesis got a hold of what Trina has said. This <laughs> is what Kaya had to say. See, this is what happens when you try to fuck with the queen. You say the only thing that's been beneath you is your body count, which is full of dead bodies from your pussy that you've been putting on niggas down there in South Side of Miami. Hello. Acting like you're better than the children you aborted. Bitch, please, you will flop just like your career, and it's over for you because ain't no coming back this time. Her mouth is so reckless. You say you need to be drugged for 8 minutes and 46 seconds. Since we're the animals, we're going to do it for George today. You ain't no different from the animals you referred to. Gag order, you've been getting pulled over and beat down by sick dicks all your life. So I was yelling and flipping and flopping on no love, just flip flops. And now you acting brand new. Like you forgot that you came out of the trash. Can hold you old and see now. Bitch mad because they done stole and looted everything but your albums. We the people say keep your apologies on my wood paneling shelf just like the rest of your motherfucking albums being shelved. Gag on. So, honey, it is what it is. Y'all gonna leave this kind of. Y'all know Kaya has no filter and she has no sense and she don't care what she say about anybody around the world. Okay. That's why I'm trying to make sure I stay under this. Like, it's not okay. time for it. I'm not trying to play with Kaya. Yeah, a mess. That's all I got to say.